Hello YouTube world, this is Alex the Gaming Teacher and welcome back to my blind run gameplay of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. As you're watching this video, please give a like and subscribe to my channel if you've not already. Yeah, I said that again, but I think for my uh, intro to videos, you know, I'll just leave it short and just saying hello everyone. Nice to see you guys all again and yeah, this mission we're in right now, I went on YouTube. Sorry, I had to. Quidditch Stadium, we actually were close to it the first attempt, and, you know, there was no glowing light for it, but let's just see here. Okay, why do you have to start on the rear end of Buckbeak? Okay. We should have plenty of time for this, but, um... Let's just, uh... I've got to go to the credit stadium. Yes, get out of here first. Okay. I believe it's this way. It's over there. Ooh, I think I can kind of see where I'm standing. All right. Dismount. Oh, it takes forever to get off. Alright, there should be there. I'm just gonna. Ah, nothing there. Oh, a sec. Oh, it's too late. I was gonna switch to Flipendo, but. I was also looking uh, based on the time. Of the videos are actually really close to the end of the game. Time to show the evidence to Professor Dumbledore, who quietly removed the jinxes from the Quidditch walls and allowed the match to continue. <laughs> this gave the Quidditch team the help wins. that they needed, allowing Harry to catch the Golden Snitch and win not only the game but the Quidditch Cup as well. Yeah, Gryffindor wins everything. Poor Slytherin. Um. Gah, no, no Quidditch at all in the game, though, as far as playing. But you know, we do have a Quidditch World Cup game that I may put on my list. You were fantastic. What's the matter with Hagrid? Hagrid? It's no use. Beaky's gonna be executed at sunset. I couldn't help him. Oh, Hagrid, what can we do? There's nothing you can do. The time's set, and that's it. They just run along and turn in. I've got to go and make Beaky comfortable. Maybe we could... Oh, I don't know. No, Hagrid's right. There's really nothing we can do. We should turn in. What? Turn in is like, end the day? No, okay. Well, Harry's with us, so... Gosh, though, it's like we're all the way over here, of course. Okay, so we found the olive parts already. Oh, I didn't check that. It's time to turn Do you know in. what? Anyway, I'm tired. If this be a day where... Or an episode where we're just going to be exploring nonstop, then... That'll be it. Okay, though, I want to make sure... I think we're going to have to go this way. Just oh, irritating really part of man, who's Ron saying he's tired? He can't do anything. Like Harry Blake Quidditch, or mine's the one who had to get all that stuff. I don't know about you, but I'm really you know, hot in these robes. There's nothing more to do. I think it's time to turn in. Turn in, that's what they're saying now. Instead of I'm off to bed. Actually, no, it's end of day, not end of night. But alright, I think with all the loading screens that we're gonna see... You know, the owl, the owl race thing too, I tried it out and I'm like, I don't get it. I think I had enough of that. But yeah, maybe I'll check it out. These loading screens, how many more? 
Okay, no items do we have here because so mine is gonna be exhausted from all that running. Okay, let's see here. So I should I Google Harry Potter? Uh, oh, look at this. I thought Hagrid was uh, with Buckbeak. Decided. Yes, Buckbeak. I'm sorry. Nothing I can do to save you. Doesn't want to see it get executed. <clears throat> Gosh, what's this thing about St. Jeremy Renner, the guy who plays Hawkeye? Losing his legs as a uh, that's not good. Oh wait, let's. You know what? Whatever. Let's just switch to Harry. Oh, he also doesn't have. Okay, they're fine. Ron, you be the one then. Haven't done anything all day. Keep collecting those beans. Alright, but you know what? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start the exploring right now, right here. Uh dang it, hold on. I gotta specify prisoner of Oscomon as well. It's daytime, so no out. Wait, what? Are you serious? Uh, we did not lose house points, did we? What the hell? This is daytime. <laughs> well, I'm going to try that again, but maybe we're supposed to sneak by him. Oh, man. I got to see what he's going to do. Gosh, he's just gonna walk back and forth. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna have to. Ugh. What the fudge? Why are you. Right? Well, that was simple. But, I'm like, oh gosh, now we're gonna have to deal with these everywhere. What am I looking at? Uh, oh, snap. I think, uh. Oh, no, those are candles. Are you serious though? There's nothing at all to open here then. This is just gonna be a waste of time. Wait, what is that? Oh my gosh, seriously. I can't think of anything else to do. Yes, there's always something to do. If there's nothing else to do, then that means talking. Something you shouldn't be doing. Okay, uh... Let me just type Oscabon. <laughs> Dang it. I don't know if I went on the right. Uh... All right, let's see here. Cannot fire a spell though. Okay, well, 
Still gonna try the other floors though, but highly likely we're gonna really, or highly unlikely we're gonna be really finding anything. Are you serious? No, this is not taking me anywhere. Man. Okay, second floor charms. Oh, here we go. Maybe side quests. What the heck? I don't even know what I'm looking at now. Oh, gosh, there is prefix there, too. Then this is just, this is just not worth it. I'm like... Oh, look at that. They're also... You know what, though? We've been here before. I swore I thought he saw me. Dang. Okay, uh... No, 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 I gotta wait for the other way. Uh... Well, it's just to get to a classroom, so... Okay, here we go. I'm looking at this. Ah, oh, ten items. Ten items and the owl post one is only the fifth. Jeez, are you serious? Oh gosh. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna do anything else then. We're just gonna go with the notice board. I do want to get to Fred and George's shop though, so where's that at? Where? <sighs> okay, I just I don't want to be sneaking around this whole time. Ah, dang it! I don't think we lose house points though. Oh, my. see, it's hard to see though. This is the freaking issue. I'm like, oh, oh snap! Gotta be. Oh, that's that's my time to go there. She's. <laughs> I was about to run, I thought he was going to be facing the other way. Alright. Just wait for him. Alright. I've had enough of this. Um. Wait, in defense of the dark arts, we were already there, but... I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's going to be prefects all over the place. We know they're all over the place. Oh, gosh. You know, I'm going to Google it then. Fred and George shop. Where is it? Because, come on. It's, it's probably on the fourth floor then. Who's this guy? Anyways. Let's see. Oh, I'm looking at here. It's in a girl's bathroom. Really odd place for them to put it. <laughs> Let's see though. Oh, but it says the sixth floor. So what the hell? Maybe it's only a night time then.
Okay, what well, I'm looking at. Well, he's not gonna stop us. Fortuna Major. Say Fortuna Major. Okay. Yeah, because in the previous games it was actually in the bathroom. Just, uh. Past Percy's study room. Wow, house points. Yeah, just keep getting more of them, right? Oh gosh, are you serious now? Well then, um, I guess better do it now than nighttime, because what the? Okay, somewhere on the first floor. The first floor that's actually easy to get by, so. And you know what? It doesn't even look like we do lose house points, so. You feel like I buy the person? Just try again. But I have to confirm this though. Sixth floor, girl's bathroom. Oh my gosh, seriously, like, why do we gotta be so close behind their heads? This is just a straight run. Alright, well. Here, maybe if I go in this quick video. Okay, I have no idea. Oh, this is a PC version. Alright, whatever. Um... Pretty sure though it is a sixth floor. That's what I remembered. What the heck? Okay. As long as we don't have to go too far then. But yeah, they're about to execute Buckbeak, so that means we're definitely at the end of the game and I don't even think I don't think there's gonna be another day. Probably it'll all happen at nighttime. The rest, oh fudger! No, okay, it's right there. Good. Hey, don't talk, man. The guy's gonna hear you. Okay, well, it's a good place to have it. So we s you know, wait for him to start walking the other way. What happens if I do this? No. I just want to try this out though. There's no need to do this, but. Doing anything? Are you serious? Okay, whatever then. <laughs> He's like, oh man, I don't, I hate my job. All right, though. Oh, here we go. There's a link that says how to find Fred and George's shop. But then these comments are what the heck? Okay, let me just wait till we get to the next loading screen. Yeah, see how long does it take to like get through these screens, get to the con room. I think we should be able to get all these items down in one episode if it doesn't take long to find them. Yeah, it's I don't know what the heck I'm looking at. <sighs> okay. Oh, here we go. This will definitely be it. Um. It's a lot of text, though, so I need to find still. 
Okay, there we go. So Fred and George shop on the sixth floor. Well, okay, it just says on the sixth floor, so probably is only open during nighttime. But I'm like, is I guess all the rest of the cards you can get are from their shop. Let's check it later. Wow, house points. Okay, we'll get to 400 basically at the end of this. The telescope last seen near the boathouse. Ugh. Yeah, well, I mean, we definitely can't do that during nighttime. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh, I don't think we can um fly with Buckbeak now. But then again, oh, maybe there is still another day because if they're not going to execute if they're saying, oh, let's just go to bed. Because, you know, Hagrid just said Bug Peak's going to execute. It didn't mean it was going to happen today. Ugh. All right, though. It's not like I'm going to get spoiled, but maybe I should just look at it ahead of time. What other items are we going to be dealing with? And... Uh, but then again, if there's, well, I don't know, there might be the, like, the last couple items, we'll just say, it's somewhere on campus. And if they do, if they do put that, then I'm like, definitely not going to waste my time, I'm just going to look onto, you know, this list here, but, I don't know, let's see if I can quickly take a look. Griffin for notice board, what, I thought I was... Oh. All right. So the bow house is a mile from now. Let's see here. Oh, that literally just got updated. Oh, wow. They are right behind us, 327. But, you know, like I said, I don't think we, uh, but you know, there's still another day for them to count points. Actually, they're going to do that right when we end the day. Dumbledore updates the current scores. So we're going to have to just, yeah. I'd say let's just get them all now. Suddenly you change to Hermione. It's like, there literally is no other way to get to here, huh? I'm just... Ugh. This is so irritating, because the bullet house is like, all the way in that direction. So let's see if Buckbeak is available. Or just get Hagwig to grab it for us. It's time to turn in. Anyway, I'm tired. Yeah, turn in, like, turn in your homework or something. Not ready just yet. Alright, let's just see here because it is going to be a, a very long time. I don't know about you, but I'm really hot in these robes. There's nothing more to do. I think it's time to turn in. Okay, at least we can fly with Buckbeak. And you know, if there's anything along the way, here's our chance. <laughs> so it's gonna be, uh, I'm going around this way here. Uh, yeah, it should be there, right? All right, let's just probably, I don't want to, uh, just leave you right there. And you better stay there, man. Don't run off anywhere. 
Just go down the stairs this way. Oh my gosh. What? Camera just shaking because now we're going down the stairs. Very long side of stairs. And we're going. Yeah, going up is going to be the part that's irritating. You know, if you're actually there doing the running. Okay, I don't know what I'm saying, but telescope. I can't find this thing though that was showing me the list. I have to go all back in my history. Okay, of course if everything else was inside the campus, then I could probably just, what the fudge? Look at some invisible wall there. I could just do this during nighttime, but I don't know, man. If it's nighttime, they might beef up, I don't say security, but like the prefects. What the, <laughs> Harry all of a sudden got here. Get out of my way, though. Wait, who said they were hot in their clothes? I'll just use the glacius. Oh snap, that was close. Alright, now that you guys finally caught up to me. Sorry to say this, but I have to leave you out of leave you behind. Okay, let's probably around this way. Oh yeah, yeah. Get still flying. Why the? No. Gosh, man. Okay, where am I at? Oh man, it's all the way over there. I'm so sidetracked. Okay. Can't. That's the freaking issue. I can't even. Oh my gosh, get up! <sighs> yeah, we have to basically land over here then. Get off. Get off. Oh gosh, what do you mean there's not enough room? Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Alright, so. Still trying to check your Gryffindor. Okay, I should be at it now. I'm trying to do two things at once here. Just running into the side there. Okay, I'm clicking on the link for the video game then. Gosh, some ad shows up now. It's weird. Yeah, that definitely took a while. I want to know what the raining items are. Jeez. Okay, maybe I should keep going down. Going down the list. Is that Malfoy again? You're asking for it! You're asking for it? Is that what he said? Yep. A hothead need to be cooled down. Okay, where is that list though? I literally had it earlier. Um. Hmm. 
Wait a second. I'm reading here that that area where we need to sneak by Snape says that if we did get caught, that he was just gonna let us go. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm reading then. Okay, though, I don't know where the heck it's at. I just can't believe it. There's only four more items, but I don't know, man. If they're indoors, then I'm like, maybe I'll be up for it. <laughs> Whatever. We'll just... Password? Fortuna Major. Yeah. Most of them make this like that one episode for what they did with the other Harry Potter games. Not really going to be able to explore campus now because there's really nothing to do. I can't go to Fred and George's shop. Alright, let's just see what's here. Ten house points. Now, next... Oh gosh, where is that? That's on the first floor, I think. Isn't it? Hospital wing? I'm pretty sure. I don't think it would be on the specific floor. Okay. So the daily profit. Let me just uh, try to continue to search, but... Maybe I have to change my text here. Try to say missing items, prisoner Fosco on. No sport, missing items. Oh gosh, I thought I was gonna hear the. Sometimes the PS2 just makes a little sound when, like, the loading screen's done with. Oh, maybe it's this thing. Side quests. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure the wing, hospital wing, is in the... Great... The entrance hall. Great hall, I think, is where they eat. Ugh. Okay, you need to get your flipendo back. What's up? Oh, this also just confirmed to see if this is right. It's so four aids. Yeah. Ooh, Ron's got a bunch of those. Hermione's more antidotes. What? Okay, we're almost at 200 there. Okay, yeah, here we go. I got this. What is this thing, though? Ron's lantern spree. After you purchase stink pellets from Fred and George, they give you a side quest to find 20 lanterns? Oh my gosh, are you serious? What'd you get out of it though? Just throw a stink pellet. Oh my gosh, I'm reading these other things too. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I would ever be able to find this out. For example, there's something in the dungeons. Should I try going there then? Wait, come on, it's gotta be here. Oh my gosh, there's nothing here. Literally nothing. This is not right. All right, you know what? I'm gonna probably have to just read this out then. 
want to turn in. Just go to the dungeons and see what the heck I'm was looking at. Apparently there's a statue here. You know, you know what? I am, uh, I don't know. We're probably not going to be able to get to it. Something about... Uh, gosh, there's so many doors, though. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Ridiculous. I I'm... <laughs> I don't think I'm going to bother here. Wait a second. Is that a freaking statue right there? No. But, I don't even know what the heck I'm doing. Oh, yeah. See, this is, I bet you there's places, there's prefects around here. Yeah, he's right there. I feel like we tried sneaking here before, too. So, this is it. I, I'm just done with this. Let's get the heck out of here. The notice board, though. Wait, what? No, oh, I actually only have three more left. So it says the hospital wing is. Oh snap! Jeez, I thought I was—I thought I was actually being scanned there. Okay, so it says, "Damn, those are gonna be prefects." I know, because look, there's no way they wouldn't be there at nighttime as well. So, just might as well do it now. So we got the daily profits. It's gonna be in the back end of the fourth floor. It says. And there's gonna be brass scales. Um. Wait a second. Are we? Is this the? So I was thinking it was going to be here, but no, it's, it's just going to lead to the Great Hall. Alright, so only three more items, so let's try to get this done now. So we got to go to the fourth floor. It's time to turn in. So that anyway, works. It's indoors. The next one, though, says brass scales. It can be found on the second floor. It's in the classroom where Charms is taught. Okay, in the second floor, we were able to sneak by the guy, too. So now, as far as the last one, let me just read it later. Okay, we didn't actually go to the fourth floor also when we were thinking of actually exploring, but... Jeez, all this could have been done, though, like... Um... Could have been done earlier in the game. Oh. Wait a second. First of all, are there going to be... Hey, where's the Mortar's map? There can't be any... Oh, snap. There's no way there could be anybody trying to, uh... Keep 
Come on, dang it. Will anybody help me out with these books here? Okay, this must be the only room then. Hey, we could see if oh, you know what? This is probably where we're going to be. What do you think? Jeez. Stop talking so much. Um, uh, just gonna make a run for it. I don't know if this is it. I don't know what to do. I think it's time to start in. Okay. History of magic class. Wait, was that what it is? Oh no, we're looking up for the hospital wing. Oh, but maybe I should just go in the classroom anyways. See if we can, uh, do anything in here. Ah, oh, there's a freaking long screen. Hmm. What the heck, man? Gosh. Hey. What's this? Why do I feel like we've been here before? It's not a dragon, is it? Oh, come on now. Stop starting on that screen. It probably is, but I think there originally was like some tapestry. So now there's literally nothing here. I don't know what to do. I think it's time to turn in. Jeez, it's annoying how they keep saying the same thing. Like, they don't want to say, Time for bed. <laughs> Alright. It says the last one we actually get 30 house points too, so... I definitely don't want to miss that. It looks like, besides the thing with the lanterns... Hermione with the statues. Wait, what? Why was there stuff? That was weird. There's stuff coming out of the chest. Alright. Not a creepy eye there. This has got to be the hospital wing then. What else can it be? Yes. Alright, well, we're already at 43 minutes, but, um, I think we, yeah, we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna have to, the last one with the dungeon, so, ugh. I think Ron is the only one who carries, like, the dung bombs or something like that. That's how we're gonna have to draw away that one prefect. Oh, but who knows? There might be others. Okay, so the fourth floor is basically, um, safe haven. It's like, literally deserted. Oh, no, what the heck? Oh, no, this is... This is where we're supposed to go. Okay, the books, though. No. Get out of here. All right. Doesn't say anything about the Hermione statue list. It just lists them, but then doesn't say we get anything for it. So yeah, there's 20 lanterns for Ron, whatever, and I am not gonna really go through all that. Like if I had known earlier, <laughs> it says all you have to do is after you purchase stink pellets. Have I not bought stink pellets before then? Can't imagine I was spending all these beans on the wizard cards, but okay. Anyways, Ugh, this is just time consuming, though. And that guy will still just stay there. 
basically, if you're not a Gryffindor, then he's going to come after you. I'm kind of wondering, where is uh, Ravenclaw and Hufflepuffs? Where do they stay at? I don't know if they ever mention it. Like, you know, the books or anything. Any games. Alright. Next. Last scene in the Charms classroom. So, second floor. We were actually in there not so long ago. I think that's the one where it's like that book. Like a monster book. Oh god, I probably have to go through it. Alrighty then. Yeah, if I wanted to, I could always maybe just do the last one on the next episode. But... Let's see. Might get to 50 minutes, perhaps. You could probably go for it. Because it's, uh... It's a potion jar, it says. And, of course, it's in the dungeons, but... Wait, I don't know if... It can't be those potion jars are like... I thought we already got those anyways. There's like jars that are just on the top of the shelf. But... Hey, okay. So, yep. Wait, what? Oh, that's right, yeah. This person's easy to get by. Uh, that was my time to go. I don't know, these things are so hard to see. Alright. Now, look, let's see what opened that chest, too. So, I feel like almost just about everything has already been done. But we get this, we have 10 more, and then there's another 30, so I think it'll be safe to say we'll get the cup. Okay, where's the item now? We don't have to bother with that. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. What the? Unless, maybe it's already been tamed. Alright, this does not bother it then. Maybe it's just sleeping. <coughs> well, that's all quick. I probably didn't... Yeah, I haven't had to go on, on um... Got the telescope. We found on our own. Pretty sure we... I've done this all. Like, I could have gone through this all without use of. I think it's. Okay. So I gotta wait for this guy now. I don't know what happens if I, if I fire a spell. Let's see, maybe I'll try for him as well. Let's see here. No. Okay, I think it was going to come after me. Dang, I should have tried it though so that it would have actually hit him. Eh, oh well. Okay. Unless if I want to just... What I could do is actually, once I find the potion jar, then I can just end the day. 
Because I'll probably just take us straight to the room anyways. I said this was going to be under 50 minutes and pff, a few seconds after. And it's probably because of me trying to stun that perfect. But also all these loading screens though. Jeez, just takes so much time. So yeah, we did not go through this though. We probably already would have been beating the game. For Tuna Major. <laughs> and again, this is so funny because it's like the door, it already opens before he even starts saying the password. Or as he's saying it. So it's like the fat lady's like, eh, pfft. It's whatever. You say anything and I'll just pretend that you got the right password. So basically, he's lazy. She's lazy. He's not enjoying her job. Alright then. Here goes the last one. A potion jar, last scene in the dungeons. Let's try to do that. Or, you know, maybe I will just, um... I don't know, though. I'm trying to think if I want... How am I supposed to know where the last level is going to start? I want to always make that on its own episode. Of course, it could always just be one big one, but then I don't... I don't know. Let's just get to the dungeons anyways. I almost forgot. Can we just save the game? You know, I think that's what we're supposed to do. Oh my gosh, I probably should save the game. Let's do that in case anything happens. Let's just get to the dungeons. Get to the spot where that prefect is just staring away. Basically, I have a bunch of, uh, you can just get him unlimited, I guess. I don't know how many, I thought Harry already had like 10 of each. Unless, is this even, it's probably not even this, it's probably the grading potion. Let's see here. Come on. No. Wait, what? I could have swore. Oh, Ron had 10 of each. So maybe 10 is the max. Ah, uh, okay. Malfoy just standing there. Yeah, Malfoy's all your fault. That Buckbeak has been sentenced. So maybe we should get Buckbeak to attack Malfoy and it's like, yeah. I'm gonna get killed. Well, what's the what's the difference? I'm just gonna Nah. Say so kill Malfoy, but Okay, so I have one more door to open here. Wait. I feel like Get okay. Is there like a door though at, at between? No, pretty sure it's gonna be through here. And if it's for 30 house points, then we're gonna buy have to earn ourselves to get it. Yep. Alrighty then. Uh, and that's really hard for me to see. I'm looking at the icons and like... Yeah, what the heck is that supposed to be? Like those blue dots mean what? No idea. Uh... 
Oh, it might mean... Okay. We're going to have to stop it here then. Actually, uh... Yeah, we'll save it on the side. So, thank you guys all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, then please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And if you have any questions or comments of anything at all, then just put them in the comment section right down below. And other than that, I will see you all next time.